build my list that much for IM. But the way I structured the deals, the people like the deals, I sold 60 some out of them the first time they opened up. I'm not even talking about the subsequent openings. You can use exactly what I taught you to be in there, and they pay two or $300 every single month that someone stays in that program. Is it worth building a few pages on your blog if it takes you 15 minutes? What happens if somebody finds your blog post after the launch is over? Chances are Stomper Net or Altitude has a landing page that's going to capture their lead if you wanted to, and you're going to be cookied with them, and you'll be marked as their affiliate, and if they make a sale down the road, you get paid. Pipeline Profits, they spoke at my event last year. I, uh, they actually offered the people at the event half price. Of only two groups in the entire world had half price, but one of them was here because they spoke here, and I said, caught them a deal, so that's what they did. And then I had outside of the group where we did sales too. And that was, Rick, do you know how much they were paid on that? Over 1000 wasn't it? I think my total sales were somewhere between 70 and 90 So it was pretty good. Membership sites, boot camp, $1,500 product, met. If I had not met, most of the people I do business with at a marketing conference, they wouldn't be making money for me and I wouldn't be making money for them because I don't just promote anyone. I want to promote someone I know for the most part. StopperNet was interesting because we had a mastermind meeting and yes, we actually do work at them out in Vegas. Went out to Vegas to meet Evan and Rich Jerk and Andy Jenkins. They asked if they could come to our meeting that we're out there with. So they came out to our meeting. They did a little presentation. Uh, Rich Jerk did his because they had the keyword domination, x-ray domination coming out. They were actually going to release that as a low-priced product, and we told them absolutely not. Released it as a coaching program, hit it hard. They did pretty well with that. I met Andy Jenkins out there because they wanted, because we were getting involved in uh, Frank and John were getting on board with StomperNet, and I didn't know who they were, so they brought them out to one of our mastermind meetings, liked them, so I could do business with you. They wouldn't have had it. I wouldn't have been one of their top affiliates, and I, and you know, vice versa, I wouldn't have got paid if I hadn't have met them at an internet marketing conference. That was a little smaller mastermind meeting, but it was still the case. Pipeline, same situation. StomperNet called me for some help. They're real nice guys that said, I'll do it. I call them if I want help. Pipeline. Buck and Brock, same thing. I met them through different channels of people that I met at an internet marketing conference, but it wasn't until I met them face to face that I'd really get behind them, for the most part. Membership Sites Boot Camp. We were at the event this summer where I met you guys, and uh, Tim was there. And I didn't know Tim, but Tim knew my buddy Jeff and Jeff. Jeff was involved in launch. Jeff Walker is very good at product launches. He was involved in launch. Jeff Mulligan is a very good friend of mine also. He flew out there and stayed with the Membership Sites Boot Camp guy. They had sent me stuff several times to help promote, but I just didn't have the time. But once I met him, I said, he's a really good guy. I like him, and I want to help him out. It's also a bonus that I sold 50-some-odd units at $1,500 a pop, and I got paid. But they tried to get to me through regular channels to promote for them, and I wouldn't do it because I just didn't have the time. But once I get to know somebody, I say, sure, let me see what I can do. And that's the same thing with the, with the uh, deal with Altitude. Evan flew out to one of our masterminds, met him, nice guy, talked to him a couple of times. I really wanted to help him out, but I didn't have a lot of time coming into this thing. But because he knew it. Something else, too. Affiliate marketing isn't just the other side. I am an affiliate marketer. I sell products as an affiliate marketer. People distribute my products. And if I don't get on the phone and call up even my best friends in the business, it's hit or miss if they'll promote me. And they can't always promote me, and I can't always promote them because it just doesn't fit our marketing schedule. We schedule these things out in advance. But Jeff Walker and I were having the conversation that, you know, you just got to get on the phone. You got to call. They're our best friends. We travel together. But I can't just send them an email because the email, what happens with our email inboxes, everyone? I'll get to it later. And even if I drag it over to my calendar or if I send it as a task to my administration assistant who's supposed to keep me on top of those things, she puts it in my task for a reminder. I still forget about it. We'll have a morning meeting and she'll say, well, you're supposed to do this, this, or that. And I'm like, oh, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. The important stuff she'll hammer me on. But the boot camp thing, that stuff was all secondary until I met him and I said, there's a face behind this now. So even with me, I've got to call. If I'm launching a product, man, you've got to get on the phone. My best friends still won't mail unless I get on the phone, and they, I tell them, too. I don't care if you mark personal in the email. That email's getting lost along the way. 
You want me? Call me. We'll say yes or no. And even if I can't launch or they can't launch for me or vice versa, we'll at least give advice to each other to help make sure it goes better for the launch. So it still should be a phone-based deal. It does not be all internet. I'm telling you from personal experience, if you're doing a launch, you better get on the phone. Even your best affiliates or your best friends should be contacted by the phone to make it go better. Position, we already talked about this, position two through five, 24 hours, XLM, Casio, XLM, spelled correctly, name of the camera, that is Casio. Spelled correctly, that's me, that's me, that's me, that's me. 24 hours, you guys were here live as we did it. How many digital cameras come out every single month? How many newspapers write reviews about gadgets? How many magazines have reviews about gadgets in them? There's an endless supply of gadgets to find out and do this. How long did this take us? I don't know if it's going to make me any money. But I didn't pick some obscure market, did I? And it's the name of the camera. And we know those convert when people look for the names of the camera. And that's what they see when they search. That's what they want to buy. You're a much better chance of converting at that point. Plenty of space in every market. Any questions about that? Okay, let's go. <laughs> How we did it. Starts with a blog post. We've already covered this. Starts with a blog post because the blog post sends out a ping. Blog post has a permalink URL. We talked about that. How that URL is permanent. You should be promoting that just like it's a regular website. Blog post has special bookmarking links that can be promoted. I think we all get this, okay? All right, we're going to move. Any questions? Okay. Just treat your individual blog posts like it's a site. And have someone go out and promote it like it's a site. And if every blog post that you have on your blog is promoted like it's a site, what do you think is going to happen? The overall authority status of the site in general is going to explode, and the individual blog posts are going to explode. And I showed you how to get someone to promote it like an authority site. Everyone understands what that means, right? Take that URL and take those little bookmark links and pay somebody dirt cheap money to go out there and promote it for you. If you have somebody on staff for $500 a month and they get a notice every time something's posted to your blog or they themselves post to the blog and they do what they need to do, they give you 40 hours a week full time. Sometimes they give you 50 hours a week for $500 a month. Do the math. How long did it take us? 10 minutes start to finish including all the promotional work. Every hour, if they waste time, they can do five posts an hour and promote it. Not just a post, but actually treat it like it's an authority site. If they don't go any further, that's great. They can still get results like we showed. But imagine if you said spend 